Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a Divine Masculine Check-In Twin Flame Reading. I'm going to use this to set an intention to protect whatever chakra um, you need to protect during this reading. Sometimes it goes, sometimes it doesn't. Took a minute, okay. All right, so um, <clears throat> I already pulled the cards here just to spur the moment reading. I wasn't going to do a reading today. <sighs> the energy I'm getting is that um, the masculine has definitely a feeling, a feeling a loss, feeling like they're kind of like at this point now where their heart may be open, but they feel like they've lost the feminine. Um, they feel like the feminine has freed herself from this dynamic. And I've been talking about this for a minute here. Um, we have needing feminine here, incomplete. We have regret. Sometimes I reflect back on your face, your eyes, your skin, your light. I let you go because I was too much of a coward to fight. Okay, this is from my Twin Flame Poetic Confessions. Then we have addiction. I wish I ha could give you more, but I'm caught in my own hell. I'm afraid I'm under the devil's spell. So, you know, someone made a comment that, you know, it's not, it's not right to think, oh, like the feminine, it's kind of a narcissistic view to think the, for the feminine to always think the masculine's just sitting there pining over her and realizing that he lost. It's not that it is kind of an egocentric place to be in. Right. And I agree. And the thing is that this is an energetic connection, okay? So if you're a part of the collective of a feminine who has dr drawn your energy back, naturally in energetic connections in any dynamic, friends, lovers, bosses, if you pull your energy back, that person is going to feel a shift and they are going to become more in the chaser role. So if you were always chasing your masculine and now you've taken a step back, the masculine is going to feel a loss because anyone feels that loss of control when they have it. Now, let's say you are in a dynamic and you think it's your twin flame, but it's actually not. It was maybe just karmic. And it really is like not even the kind of energetic connection you have. And the person, let's just say, doesn't really give a shit, right? If... If someone really doesn't care and then you draw your energy back, no, they aren't going to sit there pining over you. But in that case, then you probably won't care either because energy is back and forth. There is no way to be in an energy, energetic situation where it's only one person. Eventually, the energy will fade out. So if I'm doing a reading and I'm saying that the masculine is sitting there pining over you, that's usually for feminines who have drawn back because that is a natural response. If you are a feminine who's been constantly contacting your masculine, constantly in this energy of staying in your abandonment and your wounds, no, your masculine isn't going to feel any loss because you haven't pulled your energy back. So that's just the natural law of energy, guys. That's all what this dynamic is about. And, you know, that person was right in the sense where we can't just think because someone did something to us that hurt us that they now deserve to be suffering. That's a judgment that we're making about their actions when maybe we had a karmic contract with them. Maybe that's how it was supposed to go. Maybe the karma was fulfilled through their actions. Maybe it's done at that point. But if you've been pining over someone for three years and you feel like you have a significant connection and this person did a lot of things out of a place of not being awoken, but you know there's something deeper within them, then you know that there is a continuous energy going on here. So those are the connections we're addressing. If you're just someone who's fantasizing about someone and you feel like they're long gone and um, you're, you just know whether you're creating this or not, okay? Only you can answer that. So that being said, that's who I'm reading for is this people who know that they're still in an energetic connection. Okay, we have, wow, how's that for energy? 
She Who Frees, Liberation, Unrestrained, and Freedom. And, you know, I do prefer to kind of do more general. I don't want to just be feeding the feminines this hope of union and the masculine sitting here pining. I want to really try to strengthen the feminine collective. You guys know that. So I want to do it from that angle as well. And She Who Frees is the feminine is going through a period right now where she's trying to free herself from all of her self-limiting beliefs, all the things holding her back. If that's an, a romantic attachment and addiction to the masculine, then that needs to be liberated. That does need to be freed, okay? I got to put the fan on. I'm sorry, guys. We still have Okay. So, if you have not begun to free yourself from this dynamic in a way that you're not chained, then you got you got to work on that, all right, feminines? Because she who frees and she who whispers... Secrets, confessions, and confidants. So I feel the masculine doesn't really know what's going on with the feminine right now. She's being very secretive. She's not communicating. And we have words. Now, these were energies around the masculine I got. Life can be harsh. Love, even harsher. Words pack a punch, and sometimes it breaks skin. We start to believe these painful, awful, hurtful words and eventually convince ourselves that it's true. You are more than those words. The right love simply needs to remind you of that. Words have been exchanged in these dynamics that are very hurtful. And, you know, on both sides, okay? Sometimes it's the words that sticks with people after everything. You could have had amazing intimacy. You could have had laughter. You could have had connection. But if there were harsh words spoken, I feel like the masculine is still replaying them and the feminine is still replaying them, okay? Day one was the hardest. I couldn't accept that we were over. Day two through four hurt me more than I have ever expected. Day five through nine was depressing. Day 10 nearly killed me. Day 11 through 18 hurt like hell. Day 19, we made up and decided we were worth a second chance. Have you ever had your own day 19? Here's to second chances in day 19. This is from Carrie from Celestial Forecast. So um, when I look at this, I think, you know, we, you guys could be seeing numbers a lot. I feel like numbers are speaking to both parties right now. I also feel like time and the calendar, a lot about timing here, a lot about obviously second chances. This is the masculine, you know, we have regret. I do feel like they're reconsidering this connection. They're thinking they didn't give it enough of a chance. They're thinking maybe they could start over. Their mind is going round and round. And I feel like it's because some of them, they may not be 3D available, but they are now more emotionally available, which is interesting because we have available and then we have heart on lockdown. So it's almost like the feminine has the masculine's heart on lockdown. They may seem available to others, but I don't think they are. But I do think if they were with someone on karmically they're either more emotionally available to you now but it's kind of like too little too late okay then we have round and round i feel like their mind is like very much thinking about the feminine right now because we have yang imbalance needing fem feminine and incomplete let me just see this is weird okay i thought i pulled more moody moon mes messages masculine but let's get um So I feel like they're kind of like reconsidering right now because the feminine's energy has changed. We have crushing, attracted, interested, and open, insincere, fake, plastic illusions. They could have pretended they didn't like you, okay? They could have said things with their words to make you feel like they didn't feel like you. And it's because they were trying to mask their insecurities, okay? They were being insincere. I'm going to get more clarity on that, actually. I haven't pulled any tarot. The last one from Carrie is hope. We all know what it feels like to be disappointed, heartbroken, left empty by promises that remain unkept. Then one day life hands you a glimmer of hope that you're not meant to live this life disappointed, heartbroken, and empty. It never feels like it at the time, but the journey is always worth it. So both parties are being called to be in the light right now, no matter what's going on. Look at this. As I said that, I pulled the sun. Okay? I love this sun because the sun I love anyway, but... It's the inner child within us. Here comes the sun. Doo, 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 doo. This is about, it's kind of weird though. It's kind of a weird, creepy room. 
But the masculine is getting in touch with their inner child, their inner desires, what makes them happy. They're trying to cultivate more joy and hope in their hearts. I do feel the masculine was very sad by everything that went down. And at the same time, I do feel like they're struggling with addiction. Did I read this to you guys? I wish I could give you more, but I'm caught up. In, yeah, I'm caught in the devil's spell. So um, the sun can alleviate some of these addictions, some of these dark energies. But I feel like the masculine is shooting themselves in the foot right now because their heart is open in a way it never was. But the words were so painful between the two here. I want to pick two cards. We've got four of swords reverse and nine of wands. And this just fell down. Knight of wands, which is Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. That's also kind of like the masculine unawakened. So I feel like the masculine... can't get clarity as to why they can't seem to break out of this like it's almost like a sexual addiction of needing validation needing they don't want to hurt the feminine and come to the feminine with that energy of like just wanting that okay so they know they've already exhausted that avenue but they can't seem to get the clarity on that and then the other side of them is this Knight of Cups, which is like still not King of Cups, but it is that they have feelings. They never meant to hurt the feminine and they know that they did here. And they wish that things could get better. They wish they could somehow heal this situation with the Six of Swords, okay? They wish you guys could move forward in a more positive direction, but they also feel like so much damage has been done. And they also feel like the feminine has walked away. They also consider maybe they should walk away. Maybe it's a lost cause, even though they still have that hope in their hearts. Why did the young Sheldon show just pop in my head? That was really weird. My parents aren't watching it, but I just it just popped in my head for some reason. That could mean the Big Bang Theory. I don't know, Sheldon. I feel they like keep going back and forth, like round and round. Like, is it over? What's the lyrics? Are we, is it over? Cause is it, if it's over, then I'm throwing down the flame. Take a walk outside your mind. Tell me how it feels to be the one who turned the knife inside of me. That's um Aerosmith. There's a hole in my soul and it's killing me. All right, I'm butchering that song. All right, this is for my Twin Flame current vibes. I'm in like a weird mood tonight, guys. You guys can tell. I didn't do a reading all day, so it's actually kind of like recharged me. It would take a miracle for this connection to be revived. We have hope and miracle. I am praying for a miracle that somehow our paths will cross again. Some of you guys could have actually like physically removed yourself. So like you're not even crossing paths again. Some of you guys could have gone off and... I'm definitely hearing that some of you guys have gotten committed to the point where you're even getting married and they feel like it is a lost cause. Now, this maybe not hasn't happened, but this is something that their soul knows is going to happen. And then we've got clouded. I just heard tempted by the fruit of another and clearing the air. I wish we could talk about everything. We have words. So they do want to communicate with you. Let's get one more. Look at this. Someday. Someday we will be happy together. Look back and laugh at this mess. I'm hoping that our paths will cross again. Okay. So they're still hoping. And they, they regret that they were so clouded with you before. We've got a cat, a Y, a tree, a butterfly, an X, like a pentacle. That's like the Queen Elizabeth coin thing. A shell. That's like the ocean. A star. An F. I didn't realize there were letters in here. I'm going to put them. All right, those can mean something to you guys. And then let's get some letters. We've got W-I-N-A-C.
U, I see you, and M. Okay. I always feel like somebody's watching me and I have no privacy. All right, guys, that is your reading. It was, you know, a little different the way I started, but hope you guys hung in there with me. If you're new, let me know and I'll say hello and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.